Les had lost both limbs in a freak electrical accident over 40 years ago and is excited to become the first shoulder level amputee to have the MPL fully and wirelessly integrated into his body. It started with really intensive training with our pattern recognition system. And what the pattern recognition system is a advanced algorithm that really looks at high density electrode arrays on the chest muscles which we've re -innervated. That looks at the almost signature symphony of muscle activity information, and we take that information and translate that to actual movements within a prosthetic. Once the training sessions were complete, and they released me and let me be the computer, basically, to control that arm, I just go into a whole different world. I think we're just getting started at this point. It's like the early days of the internet. There's just a tremendous amount of potential ahead of us, and, and we just started down this road and I think the next five, ten years are going to bring some really phenomenal advancements. This was the first time the MPLs were operated by a shoulder level amputee at the full three degrees of freedom and with over 30 total degrees of motion on both sides with complete intuitive thought-based control. Maybe I'll be able to, for once, be able to put change in a pop machine and get the pop out of it. Simple things like that that most people never think of. And, it, and it's Reavailable to me. We'd really like to be able to do is send him home with a couple of limbs so that you know he can use them in his everyday life. And what this has showed us is that that's really possible. This unique opportunity of interfacing with the end user utilizing our technology provides valuable feedback to the team. Feedback that will assist this DARPA developed technology in helping wounded warriors and others to regain the 27 degrees of freedom possessed by the human arm.